Hi folks and uh, welcome to the welcome to the um, channel. Today we are doing what? We are I can't call it a maiden because this these electronics have flown many times. So it's not really a maiden, it's more of a demonstration flight of the uh, the bus. Let's call it the Fleet Flyer, 3D printed fantasy model, um, 3D printed fantasy model of a microbus. All up weight as she stands here is 1350 grams. Flying with my 2200. Um, so these electronics come out of my MD500. I did a quick test fly in the garden just before I painted it and it felt just like the MD, obviously it would, it's the same weight. So uh, yeah, let's let's get her into the air. Now this hood has got, um, just for anybody that builds, it's got a little clip in front here that fits into there and it's got two pins that slot into there. So let's see if we can get that going. It's not uh, an automatic thing, it needs a bit of fettling, uh, but uh, we can get her there. I need my glasses, this is what the problem is this morning. So I actually can't see where those pins are. That's one there. Pop it in and uh, should be good to go. Let's give it a rotate with the GBS. It's green, yes, indeed. And it's uh, still green. So, yeah, let me just make sure that this canopy is uh, on good. I don't foresee the issue. Flying in atty mode as usual. So, that's I have it, I have it here. So I just flick that into Atty. Um, I just want to make sure I am recording. So yeah, here we go. One, two, three, and run. I'll try for a smooth takeoff. Okay, not quite as happy as I wanted. But there she is, flying. Let's uh, put her in GPS mode. There she is. Let's see if I can get a thumbnail of sorts. The flying bus. Uh, back to Atty. Have my timer set to eight minutes as usual. And this shouldn't fly any different than uh, anything else. You know, if she doesn't fall apart. Quite a fun project to do, actually, I must be honest. The flying bus. Quite a unique um, concept, I must be honest. Uh, you know, it's not often that you see a, a car flying. And Yeah, what can I say? What can I say? Anything will fly, of course, as long as uh, the tail is in the right place. And it's put together properly, you could make a flying brick or a shoebox. Doesn't really matter.
Yeah, what can I say? It flies. Well, why wouldn't it? Nice solid landing gear. Well, it is very short, so uh, you know, you're not going to be wobbling around on that lot. And all up weight uh, is, as I say, 1350 grams with a 2200. With a 3000, uh, add 100 grams, which is still fine. Only 1450 grams. Not too bad. Agile enough. Excuse the train. Let's go to GPS quickly again. There we go. Let's see if I can get a decent thumbnail there. The flying bus flies. I don't know, it flies like anything else. So, guys, uh, if you've built this, uh, thanks doing that thanks for supporting it's a very easy build actually it just comes together quite nicely uh, because I have added some fitting um, fitting parts to the um, tail sections so as it pops together nicely then have to fart around and the rest is really really simple there's really nothing to it Uh, the hood uh, is in two pieces, three pieces, two pieces, I believe. And the only reason for that is because I didn't want miles and miles of support, so I, I cut the hood up into two pieces. But you can print it in one. I think I gave you both versions. Uh, the battery bay is in one, two pieces, I think. And then there's the, the rear section where the exhausts are, that's one piece two pieces for the tail boom uh, but yeah if you glue it together from the inside not the outside then uh, you can barely see uh, the joints very nice what can I say oh there's my battery let's uh, bring her back As usual, I'm going to switch off the motor an inch just before the ground. So, there. And we have a beautiful landing. That was six minutes. Not too bad. I mean, you know, it is a small battery.